and a half thousand miles across America. I uh, headed down to Bayou La Battery in Alabama, took a photo of me on some shrimp and boats, and then headed uh, relentlessly west through Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and Santa Monica Pier, California into Death Valley, where it snowed, Tennessee. The second leg ended at the Marshall Point Lighthouse in uh, Maine. I met with the local museum committee for the lighthouse, and uh, they were just saying, oh, okay, right, so, you know, when do you fly home? And I was like, I'm not tired yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn around and keep on going, just like Forrest. Minneapolis, North Dakota, and Montana, in Oregon, Utah, Wyoming, Carolina, Georgia, Memphis, Arkansas, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. And then uh, <laughs> we were done. Just like Tom Hanks' character, Rob is changing the world, raising money for Peace Direct and the World Wildlife Fund. And the influence of Forrest is never far away. He just got on and he did it. And Quite often he did it like sort of in a positive, inspiring manner. So whenever I was feeling a little bit bummed out and didn't want to talk to anyone, I just think Forrest would speak to people and then your, your day was instantly better. It took Rob just over 18 months to complete the run, albeit not in one go. After all, he had to fly home for the birth of daughter B. But then she and Rob's girlfriend Nadine flew out with him for the final few hundred miles. I actually proposed at the very end of the run and uh, <laughs> despite having come through, she was with me for about 50% of the time when I was over there and despite having to put up with a lot, she still decided to say yes and uh, I got to say the line as well, not just will you marry me but also I'm pretty tired, I think I'll go home now. <laughs> Rob doesn't know if this is the end, after all he says life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Andy Bonner, ITV News, Liverpool.